Okay, so I got another uh, fantastic tip for you guys. I should save you some time in setting up your new drones. Um, this is going to be for those of you guys that have these new drones with the video transmitters with the smart audio feature or the also known as the uh, VTX remote control feature in Betaflight. Now, uh, in the past, you know, obviously you get a new drone here. Uh, they have, would have like a button on there and some LEDs and you can manually change the channel so that you can tune it into the frequency you normally use for your goggles. And that would be the procedure in the past. Um, like for example, here is a new drone. I don't know what channel this video transmitter is currently on. And so you would um, turn the drone on, you go to your goggles, you use the scan feature on the goggles to tune into whatever the frequency is being transmitted on here. And then, of course, I'm assuming you already bound your receiver to your transmitter, and then at that point you can then uh, go into the Betaflight OSD and then go into the smart audio feature in um, the OSD and change the channel to the one you normally use. So that procedure obviously would take you know a few minutes, uh, and this procedure that I'm going to show you now actually is going to be a lot faster. And the, and, uh, the way you would do it is you'd use it in the um, you plug it into your computer and you you launch Betaflight Configurator and you would go into the command line interface or the CLI, and then you just issue the uh, commands to change the band and channel to the one you want when you first get the drone without having to either even take your goggles out and then tune or scan for the frequency, tune to that, and then have to tune back to the normal channel that you're on. It'll save you some time in that in that regard. So go ahead and we'll plug this into the computer and then we'll show you what this looks like in Betaflight Configurator. And I'll show you the, the very easy commands you need to put in to um, change a channel on your drone to the ones you want. Okay, so now that we have the uh, drone connected up to Betaflight Configurator, Go ahead and connect to your drone, and then go down here on the left, and there's going to be a bunch of tabs here. I'm going to go to the very bottom one. It's going to be the CLI, or the command line interface. And then here you're going to type in, first you want to see what commands are available to you. So type in get space VTX and hit enter. And this will show you the list of different commands you can put in to change, uh, for example, VTX band, VTX channel, power and there's a few other features here. I will put a link down in the description to the Betaflight wiki that explains all these in a little more detail. Now obviously there's numbers here for VTX band and channel so if you happen to use a particular frequency uh, that you like to typically use you'll have to know what these numbers mean. So you'll have to go to the Betaflight wiki there'll be a chart there that'll explain which band and channel you want to use. So channel is pretty straightforward. Channel is 1 through 8, as you can see here is the valid, nums, uh, valid numbers. The allowed range for band is going to be 0 to 5. Uh, if I believe the bands are going to be 1 through 5. So band 1 is going to be, I think, boss cam A. Band 2 is boss cam B. In this case here, I'm using band 4, which is the fat shark band or immersion RC band, and uh, channel 7, which is the one I normally fly on. VTX power is going to be, I believe, uh, one is going to be 25 milliwatts, and then it goes up to, I think it's two, uh, 200 and 400, 800, I believe. But yeah, check the wiki, uh, that one I'm not 100% sure on. But to change it to whatever channel you want, you just type in the command set VTX underscore band, and then equals to whatever band you want to use. In my case, I'm going to be using four. Enter that, and then the next one you want to change to is set VTX underscore channel equals seven and hit enter and then uh, the, main, the last thing you want to make sure you do is hit type in the command save and hit enter and then the flight controller reboot and then the next time uh, you plug in your drone or the next time the video transmitter has power and has a connection to the flight controller the flight controller will then send the commands to the video transmitter to change the channel and band to the one you've indicated so and when you first power it on, it's going to be on whatever channel it was previously. And then once the flight controller boots up and sends a command to the video transmitter, then uh, that will actually change. So uh, for the few first few seconds, it'll it'll look like it's not on the correct channel. But then as soon as the flight controller is booted up and sent the command to your video transmitter, you will then be on the channel that you want. And this I think will save you a lot of time. You don't have to fiddle with your goggle and tune to whatever. You know, scan for whatever frequency uh, the video transmitter happens to be on some random frequency and then have to change back. So 
Hopefully this will save you some, some time in setting up your drone. I usually do this when I'm uh, setting up the drone the first time. Uh, when you go in there and you you, know, you set, in, set up your your modes and your transmitter, for example, or put in your rates, that's when uh, usually one of the last things I'll do before I reboot the flight controller is go in the CLI and put in the commands I need for the video transmitter and then uh, set it to the uh, channel I want and then uh, the next time I know that when I turn it on it will be uh, broadcasting or transmitting on the uh, channel and band that I normally have my goggles tuned into so it's just one step that saves me a little bit of time in setting up my drone so I can get up and get out and fly as quickly as possible. So hopefully this uh, a little tip here is helpful for you guys. If you have any questions let me know and I'll talk to you guys in the next video.